I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to the great state of California, where we're going to listen to Georgie Porgy, also known as Doughboy. His channel may be gone, but he's not forgotten, at least by Dr. Dave. And let's listen to him whine and cry about how he got moo clocked by a guy in the library. That's right, the library. So I'll sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! This is a discussion. Yeah, you're her supervisor, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'd like to talk okay, to you, so not her. What's gonna happen is, okay, I want you, to, I want you to, to film me. Uh, if I keep hearing anything, we, we if I keep we, hearing about anything so nonchalantly, it is gonna be a riot in here. Now, you <laughs> wanted to talk, you, you, wanted, you wanted to act, you want to come with all your policies and all your laws. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. When it comes to anything, I don't give out the law. Man, you might want to. No, I'm getting loud because it's, it's justified, and they know it, and you know it. You can tell these two yahoos aren't streetwise. Because when a man hikes up his pants, like this black man's doing right here, that's a pre-attack cue. That means you're getting ready to have your ass kicked. That's what that means. You're going to get a serious smackdown. And that's what happened eventually. But we're not here for all that. We already saw that video. I can show it to you again if you want to see it, though. But we're here to listen to little Georgie Porgy cry about how he got hurt. And needs your help. He needs money. Road accident. So yeah, we're gonna um, discuss a few things. Um, we're gonna talk about what I can speak on, and um, I know a lot of you guys have expressed your concerns. You guys have reached out uh, via messenger on Facebook. You guys have sent me emails. You guys have commented on all my videos. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Um, everything's good. As far as, uh, obviously, I'm free. I'm not in custody. Um, I did post a live stream. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. On the way to... Uh, on the way to go speak to the lawyer. And um, I was advised to remove that live stream. So... There's only so much information that I can share... Because as you guys know, the police are monitoring this channel. There's probably a troll in the chat right now, so mods, be ready. Um, they monitor this channel. The district attorney is probably monitoring this channel. Uh, anything I say on this channel can and will be used against me in this current case. A lot of people have been commenting. They want to see my footage. Well... Let me share something with you guys. The police want to see my footage also. Did you know that? And they haven't. I am under no obligation to help them in their investigation. And I will not. So Dublin Police Department is probably monitoring this, watching this channel right now. So let's give them a wave. Hello. There's certain things I can talk about. Some things that I can't. I have to be very, very careful with my wording. There is an active case currently. I'm out on bail. Uh, bail was $10,000. Hey, Georgie, guess what? I got that live stream you uploaded and then took down. Let's roll a short clip from that. You know, so they're trying to incriminate me. Um, you know, but uh, one thing that I was unclear on with the, with the law was that a felon cannot possess pepper spray and I do have a conviction on my record from I believe 2005 assault with a deadly weapon it was so long ago you know um, fraudators are such great liars aren't they 
Man, if you had a felony conviction like that, I don't care how long ago it was, you would remember it. Just like you conveniently forgot that you're a child diddler. Yeah, something wrong with you, boy. There's something wrong with you. And, uh, you know, I posted the $1,000 10% bond. Um, I had court today. Today was the arraignment. So there's a few things that I want to talk about in regards to this case. We see the library and we say, well, let's go to the library. Let's go do an audit at the public library. Why not? I've done a few of them. I haven't had any issues with any libraries and any audits that I've done. So let's just go check it out, right? Let's just go see if they respect our rights. Peacefully record. And if, if you guys know me and you guys have seen my videos, I am not there to agitate anybody. I'm not there to start a riot. I'm not there to fight anybody. My intentions are, number one, to exercise my rights peacefully. Number two, to educate anybody that I come in contact with. And I always want to de-escalate. I'm there for education, not confrontation. So if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you know that to be true. And I, and I felt so proud of myself and Vigilania because that is what we set out to do. We want to educate people. Then you got these two Karens <laughs> come up and just blow the whole thing up, man. And if you guys have seen the video footage, you know what happens next. I cannot talk about anything else from that point moving forward. I got brought to the emergency room. Not because I was injured or anything like that. It's just standard protocol. Um... They did keep me handcuffed, torture cuffs behind my back. I am a big guy. My shoulders are pretty messed up from that. Um, I sat in a very small chair, not a bed, not a gurney, not a bench, a very small chair with my hands cuffed behind my back in the hallway of the emergency room for three hours. Oh, you poor widow ting for three hours? Oh, you must have been starving, because that's a big boy. He needs a lot of Taco Bell. Now, ask yourself, good folks. This guy claims he's an educator. He educates people. I tell you what, sonny boy, you couldn't educate me on how to cross the street. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Mm. Well, one good thing, yeah, he's not around anymore. He's so ashamed of what he did, and rightly so. Going out with kids. Where's your mind at, man? He's deleted all his social media. I wonder how the lad's going to pay for that expensive attorney. Well, we'll talk about that later. For now, let's carry on. The hospital took my blood pressure when I first got there. And then they took my blood pressure right before I left. They did not give me any medication. They did not give me an ice pack. Um, they did not do anything. The emergency room doctor spoke to me right as we were leaving three hours after I had gotten there, asked me a few questions and sent me on my way. So you guys can come to your own conclusion of what you think that's all about. But I'll tell you what, being five foot nine and 260 pounds, all muscle with your hands handcuffed behind your back in a small chair in the same position for three hours bingo lucinator put it right there lucinator appreciate you my brother retaliation does anybody know why they would want to retaliate against me anybody there is a video there's another video from dublin it just happened a few weeks ago you guys might have seen it. Maybe you've seen it. It's a great video. I love that video. I enjoyed that video so much. I enjoyed making that video. I enjoyed exercising my rights in that video. I enjoyed exposing those horrible, corrupt government employees in that video. I enjoyed following those corrupt government employees evil police officers to their cars. I enjoyed it very much. 
and then catching them parked in a handicapped spot. Catching them driving away without their seatbelt on. Now, what did Georgie Boy just say a couple of minutes ago? He's five foot nine and weighs 260 pounds, and he said it's all muscle. Man, look at the size of that stomach. That's not muscle. That's all fat, boy. What are you rambling about? I wonder what he's enjoying these days. Yeah, this is a picture of him when he wanted to be a rapper. Notice how many frauditors want to be a rapper? And when that fails, they become a frauditor. You little diddler. I made them look like fools. Actually, I didn't make them do anything. I caught them in the act of doing something where they look like fools. So, a lot of you guys know that this business of being a First Amendment auditor, someone who stands up to tyranny, corruption, police misconduct, comes with a price. And if you don't know that, you do now. I knew that when I signed up to do this. And uh, I had a very long conversation with Jay Roller today on the phone. And, um, you know, we discussed this and, and it's, it's a price that I pay. It's a price that I have to pay being on the front lines, being out here fighting for all of you, for, for me, for everyone, for catching these police, for exposing these uh, corrupt clerk recorder people who don't want to submit a public records request. You know, that's the price that I pay is that retaliation is going to happen. And if you guys don't think that retaliation was the case or the verdict or whatever, just watch Vigil Antioch's video and look at how they conducted their investigation. They had their minds made up before they got there. They knew it was me. I never ever once gave them identification. I never once told them who I was. I did not give them my video footage. Um, but they clearly knew that I was there. Me, NorCal Copwatch. I've been following NorCal Copwatch for a long time, way back in when he only had a handful of subscribers. Uh, I want to know what the lad's going to do now because all he can do is grift and con people out of money. So what do you think he's going to do in the future? I don't know, man. I don't know where you're going to get a job at because as soon as you answer the question, are you a convicted felon, that's going to be the end of that. Man, why isn't this guy on the uh, sexual registry website, man, for the horrible things he's done? Something wrong there, man. We have to check into that. What, did he uh, did he pay somebody so he's not on that website? My my name is visible on my YouTube channel. It's in my Venmo, my PayPal, my Cash App. That is my name. So therefore, all they have to do is say, oh, I know, his name's on his YouTube channel. Let's go get his name. Let's run him through the database. Well, that's what they did. I am still currently trying to generate the revenue to pay the attorney for the full amount for the $7,000. So if you guys want to donate to me, please, please donate via Cash App, PayPal, uh, uh, Venmo, those kind of links. Um, because YouTube does take the majority of the money and I can't access the money until the 21st of the next month. So everything I make this month on YouTube will be paid out next month. So I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for the super chats. But if you guys do want to donate, donate on Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. This lawyer is expensive. Um, I'm not here to e-bag like the trolls are saying and all that shit. But... You know, Jay even told me earlier on the phone, it's like, man, I'm, I'm going to have to put my pride aside and let you guys know that I do need help. I do need your help. And if you're willing to help a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever, it will go towards the attorney costs. And I, I definitely needed to fight this case. Now look at this idiot. He's got his hands together and his eyes closed and he's praying, please, 
please, please, please send me money, please. This sounds like Jeremiah down there in Tennessee. Oh, come on, guys, please, please, come on, guys. Yeah, if that's not e-begging, I don't know what the definition of e-begging would be. And his little GoFundMe. Oh, his little GoFundMe and his PayPal. He took him down. He took him down. He only had $585 raised of 7000 You poor little thing. What are you going to do now, Georgie boy? Well, if you guys look up the definition or the terms of lawfully defending yourself in California, it says if you're in imminent danger of great bodily injury did I feel that I was in danger I did this guy was super erratic super crazy he was looking for a fight the whole situation was escalated so in terms of not having pepper spray not being a felon I would have been justified in defending myself in that situation plain and simple Cut and dry, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This man was agitated, took a step towards me. I said, do not come closer. He said, what do you mean, don't come closer, and came closer, and shit went down. So, before all that, he had already made threats. He had made criminal threats, saying that he was going to break your camera i will break your camera i will break your jaw all that stuff everything after that point is justified by me if i wasn't a felon and i was not in possession of pepper spray now yes we have opinions on the second amendment and we have the right to defend ourselves and all this stuff but the cops and the government they want to take away and strip away our rights and limit our rights so the way they do that is with unjust laws. And this law is unjust. This law is bullshit. I believe that any felon should be able to defend themselves with any weapon, regardless of conviction. Any person should be able to, to defend themselves with any weapon. They should be able to protect their home, their property, their spouse, their loved ones, their family. We should be able to do that. Georgie boy, you forfeited that right a long time ago. Almost 20 years ago, you forfeited that right. You no longer can live among us with weapons. And that's a good thing, considering the heinous crimes you've committed against younger people in our society. The most vulnerable people in our society you took advantage of. you got to be ashamed of yourself, boy. There's a special place in hell for you. The law says otherwise. And I appreciate everybody who has continued to support this channel, everybody who watches these videos, that likes, that comments, that donates, the live stream donations, the super chats. If you guys are sending me donations on PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, I appreciate you guys so much. I can't fight this fight without you guys. I fight this fight for you and for myself and for everybody else in this world. I am on the front lines putting my life in danger, imminent danger of great bodily injury, and there's going to be times where I'm going to have to defend myself, and these laws are unconstitutional, and I truly believe that each and every single one of us has the right, and it shall not be infringed upon, that we can defend ourselves. We can protect our home, we can protect our cars, we can protect our wives, our husbands, our children, our friends. And we will expose this misconduct. We will expose this corrupt tyranny. That's what we started this channel for. And I continue to just hit home run after home run over and over. Just keep bringing it to me. You guys want to act stupid? You want to do stupid things? Then you will be exposed. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Georgie boy, but you didn't hit a home run recently. Matter of fact, you struck out with the bases loaded at the bottom of the ninth. And now look at you. You're a washed up has-been. Ashamed of your past as well you should be. 
I don't know how you're going to find a job. Perhaps he can be like Rogue Nation. Rogue Nation just takes other people's video, comments on it for a couple minutes, and then posts it as his own. Be like us trolls. And that's why I love doing this. That's why I got into this. But I'm just going to tell you guys straight up. The reason why I got... I, I was watching Bay Area Transparency for a long time. San Joaquin Valley Transparency. All those cop watch channels and audits. But when the George Floyd stuff happened, I felt something shift and change inside me. And I knew I had to, I have to try this. I have to do something about it. And then the Tyree Nichols stuff happened. And then one day I decided to grow a set of balls. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please support the channel. Appreciate you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Love you guys. See you soon. I would love to know what happens with his court case. Man, I hope he goes down in flames. I know everybody else does, too. Hey, if you didn't see the video of this Yahoo's arrest, let's play it now because it's gone from his channel. Well, I guess we'll never see the up-close and personal video he made, will we? Roll that clip. What's that? What makes you think you can just walk around recording people like Oh, because it's it. I don't care what you're Sorry, doing. You didn't ask me if you can test me. I don't care. Wait, no, you're that's not true. Really? So you can just walk around and just record people. Absolutely. Random. Absolutely. Yeah, it's Absolutely. Called, it's called freedom of press. Here, let's be quiet. Freedom of what do you mean be quiet? I said let's be quiet. That's both. It's no. So Georgie Porgy and his little buddy were in the library less than two minutes and somebody's already taken exception to being recorded. You have to understand that not all people like to be recorded by passerby. And they don't mind the library camera so much, but when somebody like this walks in with a camera, oh, it's on. And it's really going to be on today. Let's stay tuned. I'm not being quiet. I don't appreciate you if, walking around with your camera. How do you know what, what a person's going through? And especially if a person you, says you something to you. Then don't go in public. Which means they don't go in public. Yeah, that's there's no expectation of privacy in public. That's what the law says. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to educate you, man. That's all. You trying to educate me? Well, I mean, if you want to so know, you're say, asking like, me for if, a reason, if right? There's like no expectation. We are of in privacy. the library. If there's no right. expectation of privacy, you got your watch on me and you got your phone on me, right? So My watch what, on I have me? what do you mean? I don't know. I, maybe. I don't know. It's not maybe you ask Richard Mill. Richard, man, who's that? Yeah, that's a watchmaker. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where right. all that is. Yeah. You don't know no, but there's, right. there's uh, a... Okay, what I'm saying is I don't want you to film me. So how about okay. you respect? Okay, yeah, I'll try to keep you off the camera. But, I mean, if you don't want to... You know there's cameras everywhere. I don't care. Right? You're walking around purposely with a camera with a fucking boom microphone on it. Yeah, it's not even plugged in because there's no wind. It doesn't matter. I don't well, I mean, care, man. I'm honestly... Saying, like, you, like, I really love when frauditors use the word honestly because they've never been honest a day in their life. And look here on the far right hand side in this screenshot. Here comes NorCal, little Georgie Porgy. Now the fireworks are really going to begin. <laughs> Roll that clip. It's disrespectful. Like, it's Honestly, out of line sir, it's, and it's out what's of order. disrespectful is you, you approaching me when I'm doing nothing Did wrong. you make an announcement that you were coming in here? Announcement? In yeah. the public place? Yeah, in sir, a public if place. Sir, if I had to ask You're for... like professionally filming, right? Which means so, normally like people sign waivers to get filmed. Normally, no, that's right? not true. That's, that's not a true? misconception. Yeah. That's a misconception? Yeah, in public. Okay, so in public, you're allowed, even though I'm asking you not to, Absolutely. you're allowed to, like, just Absolutely. film me, even though I don't want you to. That's correct. So does that mean I'm allowed to do what I need to do to prevent you from filming me? Well, you can't. I mean, that means, that like, mean? if, I, if I wanted to push your camera away because you're not respectful. That would be assault. It wouldn't be assault if I didn't touch you. Yeah, it would be battery, actually. It would be okay, simple so battery. This is part of our personal Yeah, if you touch any property. Okay, okay, and so and we would defend ourselves. So. But yeah, I mean, we're, yeah. in a, we're in a study yeah. area. Yeah, what I'm saying is, so you're allowed to film me even though I'm, requesting that you not film me like i'm expressing my discontent with mm -hmm. the fact that you're putting your camera on me we'd be we we could still do no, it you'd be like, a dick he's, for he's doing actually, it he's actually, oh georgie porgy doesn't know it right now but he's getting ready to be clocked yeah i can't show you that unfortunately youtube will never approve of all that but georgie porgy's gonna roll around on the floor 
then he's going to pull out his hot sauce. That's how you can tell you're dealing with a real sissy when they pull out their hot sauce. Well, let's continue for now, though, shall we? Like I know, you, I know that you're recording. Yeah, right? absolutely. And he's talking about he's going to defend himself, but if you assault me, I can't. I can't defend him, bro. Like you, you gonna be you have to worry about way more than your camera if I decide to assault you. Because if I want to assault you, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch your camera, bro. I'm gonna try to break a bone in your face, mm -hmm. right? Now, What's did you get that on camera? Yeah. Anyway, I mean that's I a felony, though, right? I don't. I don't know about it, right? I'm just saying. I'm speaking plainly. I don't speak in code. Even though people listen right. to code, what I'm saying is, why is it that you can walk in with a camera, and I'm expressly, like, telling you that I don't want to be filmed, and you're basically enforcing your right, like, you're not disrespectful, and you're saying that there's some type of law that yeah, this is public. public. Yeah, I mean, if you ask, you know, I don't want to be on camera, then as a favor to you, I would absolutely try to keep you off camera, but as a legal Anywhere standpoint, go, like, there's cameras everywhere. Do you ever ask them for consent? Right. Or? Yeah, there's mm -hmm. cameras well, everywhere. But see, there's cameras in places of, like, business where there's things like... Well, there's also cameras on every car out there nowadays. Yeah. Well, the only problem with that argument, Sonny Boy, is that camera footage is not being uploaded to YouTube by unemployed dimwits trying to make a quick dollar off somebody else. That's the whole issue right here. Yeah, we're being recorded all day, every day. But remember... That footage is not uploaded for commercial gain. Case closed, Frauditor. But you're walking around with a personal camera for your own personal reasons. Right, but now do you know what the Freedom of Information Act is? That that any any see this this is paid for by tax dollars, paid for by that you any, and I. That are, any, that any, that any? What do you mean? Huh? I Wait, didn't did, catch you it. Stuttering? No, I said. Oh uh, yeah, okay. I said that uh -huh. any of these cameras. Yeah. You oh can, damn, you, can, boy, 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 you, you like talking above your pay grade, ain't you? No, you yeah, can go. Uh -huh. No, it's you something I do all the up, time. Bro. If I was your boss, I would take you and take your camera away from you right now. We don't have bosses. Well, you're done. You're self-employed. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> so you like you do your whole organization under the bureau. Yeah, how so? How so? Okay, so now at least I'm gonna talk to you because at least yeah. you're direct. Like, yeah, yeah and I so respect this the is a public yeah. building anywhere that's public. We have the right to record. We're actually working on a story about the library. Mm -hmm. Anybody that we record in here, whether they want us to record them or not, doesn't matter because this is a public building. Right. So there's no expectation of privacy. That's actually a law. Glick versus Cunniff, mm -hmm. and then there's also Fordyce versus Seattle. These are all case laws, approving case laws that have been won in court about recording people in public setting. Right. So like Notice the posture on this man. His arms are folded and he's just staring straight at Georgie Porgy. Yeah, those are signs that he's getting ready to attack you, Georgie Porgy. I guess you're not streetwise. Well, maybe you'll learn something after today, but probably not. Let's go ahead and see how this plays out. City Hall, we were just over there. Police stations, we were over at the police stations, we were at the uh, county clerk records office. They're all mm -hmm. public buildings, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, you can ask us to not film you, and we try not to film people, but if you come up, like the reason why I came up is because you were talking to him, so I wanted to see what was going on. Mm -hmm. You know, right. just in case anything happens between you two, mm -hmm. I have an alternate angle of, like, if there mm -hmm. was something to happen, you know? So, hey, how you doing today? How's it going? I just had the, I'm the assistant manager. Okay, cool. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Rosemary. Just had a gentleman report that there was an argument going on. Everybody no, we're just no, we're no, discussing we're the laws and no, stuff around recording in public. Okay. Yeah. And you do understand you can't record people without well, we, permission. We actually can, you man. Cannot. Yeah. We actually can. That's our policy. Well, your policy, well, policy your policy yeah. doesn't matter, yes, ma'am. Yes, it does. It's not law. It is. It's law. not law. It is law. It's really, ma'am. I've read it. You I've can read talk it. to county I've read it. I'll take it if you like, but I, I've read it. Yeah, so, Man, we, you we do this. These guys always claim they follow the law. They don't follow policies, except for when they go to the post office, because that's a policy. That's a policy. Poster 7 is a policy. Or, for example, when they ask for the name and badge number of an officer, it's your policy to identify. Well, there you go. It's a policy. It's not a law to identify. Only when it suits the frauditor is it a law only type of thing. But we're getting close to countdown. Let's continue. He can continue filming me if he chooses. He cannot film you. Ma'am, ma'am, with all due respect. He can film anything in the library. He can 
he can record anything in the library. If you do not consent to being filmed, you tell them that. If they have a problem with that, we can then call the police. Okay? No, don't do that. You have to. <laughs> don't talk to you. Wait a minute. You just said that if I touch your camera, it's an assault. You yes, that absolutely. Is it's a battery. So if she's telling you that there's something that protects me. But that doesn't mean that you are allowed to assault me. No, he's, he asked a question, ma'am. See, she's coming in the middle of this, not knowing what's going on. If he tells you not to film me, I just introduced myself. I said I was the assistant manager. Assistant manager, okay. I would suggest that you reach out to... I don't need your suggestion. Okay. If you don't want to be filmed... This is why we come and do it. Okay? Is she's inciting a riot right now is what she's doing. Yeah. Not she's she's I'm incorrect. Excuse me, ma'am. You're, you're trying to talk over me. I am. It's not your job you. to protect anybody's rights. Yeah. I don't know who this frauditor is behind the camera. I've never really watched anything on his channel, but he sounds like a smartass, just like his buddy Georgie Porgy. I'm sure they get along just fine. Yeah, it's not your job, ma'am. It's not your job. Well, yes, it is. She works there. You don't work at all. And arguing makes for great content for a YouTube upload. It gets you lots of clicks and views, doesn't it, Sonny Boy? First of all, no, it's He's not. That's not. That's not. I, I understand that absolutely. Do not film him without okay. his consent or any do, other. I I would do that out of out of being polite. Um, but you're inciting a riot right now, ma'am. You're horribly misinformed. If you don't want to be. <laughs> yeah, you just hey brother, you just let us know. We point our camera the other way. Easy as that. Oh whoa! The first thing, the first We're all thing, brothers, no, man. No, We're all human. Thing, the first thing I said to you is you need permission from people when you walk by. And then I did, I didn't when I heard something, but I thought you were on the phone or something. Honestly, I did. I was on the phone. Why you were had your laptop open? No, you did not Lady, go away. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't. You honestly don't. You should reach out to your supervisor because what I'm you're right here. oh you right are here. so you cannot videotape anybody okay ma'am it's you can take pictures of the building the books fixtures okay. but not the people without their permission can I talk now making this can you you stop you're just right talking over everybody you're not this frauditor behind the camera is more rude than georgie porgy is that possible well it is possible and it's happening yeah, he just wants to cut everybody off. He's a narcissistic sociopath. Well, he's really an idiot, as we shall see soon, because he's not going to help his friend at all. He's just going to record. Yeah, roll that clip. Stop. You're just talking over everybody. You're not bringing anything here. You know, you're bringing it to the yeah, table. Yeah, this is a discussion. And, and <laughs> now, you're her supervisor, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, I'd like to talk to you, so, not her. What's gonna happen is, because she um, is, she's not I very polite. Ma'am, um, there is, we, we do this everywhere. So long, Excuse me. It is going to be a riot in here. Now, you <laughs> want to talk? You, got, you, want, you want to act? You want to come with all your policies and all your laws? Well, I'm going to tell you something. When it comes to anything, I don't give a fuck about the law. Why are you getting loud, dude? No, I'm getting loud because it's, it's justified. And they know it's it. It's called just you know now this man is clearly upset. He's pointing fingers, he's using profanity, and he's just squared up with Georgie Porgy. Anytime somebody squares up and they're only about a foot away from you, you should take that as a notice that you're about to get your ass kicked. Yeah, Georgie Porgy doesn't care though. He just wants to keep recording. And so does his friend. What kind of a friend is this? He just wants to record Georgie Porgy getting his ass kicked. So now, now that I ask you for your permission, and you so arrogant, arrogantly, not only denying me my rights, but now you're talking about things that you and I both know rights. that if I speak plainly about them, if we're talking about the law, if we're talking about getting police involved, they'll be looking at you first, wondering if you know about it. Right. Why right? Why you yeah. It's what we do. Stop coming close to me, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, man. Hey, 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 break it up. Come on, man, break it up. Dude, dude. Dude. Hey, break it up. Wow. 
Somebody needs to call 911. I do apologize, good people, but I had to lower the volume and take that video out because YouTube is never going to approve that. Even though this guy pixelated it, you can still see what's going on. And now the man that didn't want to be filmed uh, gets up. He, they were both on the floor wrestling. He gets up and rubs his eyes. And right away, I know he's been pepper sprayed. Anybody that rubs their eyes like that, that's a telltale sign. Let's look at it. Separate. <coughs> Separate. Separate. Back. Are you all right? Yes. Yeah, wow. Just stay back. Stay back. You all right, brother? Oh, Somebody man. better call the police. Yeah. Did you spray something? Somebody better call yeah. the police right now. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I will. Where is your phone? I don't know. Okay, fair. <clears throat> Take pictures of everything. Take pictures of it. You're a rock star, my brother. Yep. <clears throat> here, come here, George. Have a seat, man. Where's my phone at? I don't know. Now, you may be wondering why the frauditors can't call 911. Well, their phones are being engaged right now. They're recording what happened. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Well, the police definitely are on their way, but it's not going to work out the way Georgie Porgy expects it to. We're going to have to skip over a lot of dead air here, but let's get to the crux of the matter, shall we? Five minutes later. All right, guys. All right, you guys. Can we, can we go step outside? Yeah. Can I All get right. medical attention? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Thank you. Can you make sure you don't have any weapons on you? No, no. I don't no, want to. Sure whoa, whoa. Why don't you touch me? Hang on. Hang what are you on, touching me for? Hey. We got called because there's a battery. That's don't touch me. Don't touch me. Sergeant. Sergeant. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, let him go. For what? What crime have I committed? What crime have I committed? What crime have I committed? You're being detained. For what crime? For what crime? For what crime? Did you, are you involved in this No, I'm just here recording. Is this guy involved? Did he pepper spray? I didn't do anything. Huh? Search man. Yeah, we have everything on video. We'll show it. Okay. You want to show it? Well, let's. Let's handle everything and then we'll, we'll take a look in just a minute. All right. Well, I want to see how this goes down. I don't want to stop recording. Right now, here's the deal. How about this? Give me his camera and I'll show you mine. That way we have a camera rolling. So here we have an idiot who has a chance to exonerate his buddy by showing what he's recorded and he's refusing because he doesn't want to stop recording. Oh, the irony of it all, huh? What a man, with friends like that, you don't need any enemies. Whose camera has the pepper spray to Both. Probably mine's probably got a better view, as he was the one. Okay, then show me yours. Okay, let me get his phone from him. This is how I just want to keep a camera rolling. Right is your camera rolling? Yeah, it is. Okay. Right now, you could be detained, okay? okay. I'm trying to work for what, what crime can I be detained for? I'm trying to work with you. Okay? Well, I just want you to tell me. I'm trying to, because one of you pepper sprayed him. Okay, not okay? me. Says you. Right, okay. absolutely says me. Do you have In a any... minute, we're going to find out who it is. Sure, okay? sure. I don't know whether it's you Well, I mean, do the investigation first before you start detaining people, right? His... Well, no, you detain. And then well, I mean, hasn't, hasn't he already admitted because that it was him? Did, <laughs> did this guy admit that he pepper sprayed? He has pepper spray on him. Okay, and he admit that he is the pepper person that pepper sprayed? I haven't, I haven't answered any questions. Right. Yes, Do me a favor. Yes, if you have video, would you please show me? If can I take his camera so I can keep a camera on? That's all I, I want to really do. Really care about his camera? Why? Well, I, I do though. Of that's, crime, I know you don't, but I do. Would you like I to prove would. I would just like to like keep like one. See, the thing is, here's the deal. Is it poor Georgie Porgy. He's got an idiot for a friend. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if I could call him an idiot because idiots do have some common sense, don't they? He just doesn't want to turn off his camera because it's going to spoil his little YouTube upload. Man, that is really pitiful. It, that is. That is just so pitiful. If I shut this camera off, it's no longer recording to show you. I can't show you and record. So if I could just get his camera, which is probably recording anyway. 
Why don't you just put your camera over there? In a minute, nobody's going to be filming, okay? All right. Why is that? <laughs> Why don't you just Stay, I'm, I'm Honestly, this blew okay. my mind. I'm trying to Why work with... Why don't you tell me what happened? Um, you know, I don't want to... This is his deal. You know, I'll show you the video, absolutely. Okay. okay. I don't want to say anything other than that. Okay. okay. Would you like to show me the video then? Um... Yeah, I guess so. Hopefully he's running. You can't get me get his camera? No. He's already a suspect in a crime. So he's gonna be taken out. Okay, so. well I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep rolling then. Well why don't you just why don't you help me out? Because I don't wanna okay. stop recording. Is your friend innocent or is he guilty? I I don't know. Do you want to? In my opinion, out? was my opinion. I do want to. I do want okay. to. But I, innocent, I don't want to stop know? rolling. Okay. This is the whole if he's reason innocent, we're here. Why don't you show me the video? I would love to. Okay. I would love to. If you step towards me again. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay. I didn't mean to. That's I'm the just, second time you I took your like left hand. Like, That's the second time you took your left hand and started reaching towards my gun. Okay? No. Well, this predator's got a lot of issues, doesn't he? Keep stepping towards the sergeant here, and the sergeant's worried about his firearm. Oh, sunny boy. Well, they go back and forth for several more minutes about looking at the video, and eventually the predator turns off his camera and shows the sergeant the video, but it's not conclusive. Oh, dearie me. Now, Georgie Porgy's in big, big trouble because he pepper sprayed a man. And Georgie Porgy's a felon in California. Felons aren't allowed to have pepper spray in the state of California. That's going to be a problem. Much, much later. Hey, y'all have Morgan and Buzzard. Okay. And a friend with Tom Morgan. Hey, if somebody in the live stream can call that right now, hey. say it again. I, it right? sure. I just want to get it real quick. Back up. I do have your phone, yeah. He's trying to shift so over. Yeah. Yeah, put it in his property. Be curious. Yeah. Do you take that or what? Yeah, I guess he does. Why is that evident? You guys need to learn how to... I'm not going to tell you again. You need to give them space to do their job. What are you okay? going to do? If, space? If you, 10 feet, right? You, yeah. you keep approaching me. I keep backing feet. up more You're and more. two feet of my officers. How about that? We good here? You are okay. good there. Okay. Perhaps the lad wants to take a ride with his good pal, Georgie Porgy. After all, he didn't do a thing to help Georgie Porgy. All he did was record. Georgie Porgy's over there rolling on the floor, getting clocked the whole time. With friends like that, you don't need any enemies. That's enough of that nonsense, good people. That was a 48-minute video, and then the Yahoo posted a 20-minute live stream. That's over an hour. Yeah, I don't know if he was arrested for fighting in the library or using a pepper spray device when he's a felon and clearly you can see the law here california law prohibits pepper spray uh by a convicted felon so it doesn't really matter to me why he was arrested but he was arrested and that's the best part of the day when you see a frauded or arrested and he didn't want anybody to search him what's up with that you got afraid they're gonna find that pepper spray and not to worry, good people. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. I just had a good thought. While we're all here and having fun, let's watch another frauder get arrested, shall we? Roll that clip. Oh, do me a favor. You're not able to come through here. Please, if you would. Okay. an investigation. Okay. Yeah, you let me have tape up? Yeah, let me have you walk across the street. I'll walk you across. Okay, let's like. need to put some tape up if I can. Otherwise, this is a public... This is a... Sir, we're conducting a publicly accessible a way. investigation. This is a publicly please, accessible way. If you don't please, have tape up, I'm going to walk on through. Sir, you're not. I am. I'm telling you, you cannot, sir. And I can film you guys all I want, so... Okay, please don't come this way, sir. Okay. Thank you. You can film from here, but not from there over here. I can get within eight feet. Sir. That's actually the law. And you answer. know that. I'm not gonna ask you, <laughs> you guys are funny. I love it. But you're on video, so. That's fine, sir. Sorry. Live stream, actually. Sorry. Imagine that. Another live stream. Another YouTube star in the making. How lovely is that?
are you, sir? Are you all watching now? Uh, I'm live streamed? Right. And that's actually kind of hard to get, the body cam video. I'll get it, but it's a little bit harder. Now you can walk this All right, I'll, I'll think I'll spectate for a little while. So for you to walk through, sir, if you want. I'll spectate for a little while. Thank you. Not closer. Do not get closer. I am plenty far away. I am plenty far away. A camera is not dangerous. I'm... Sir, don't get closer. Just please continue to walk. You're free to go. You're continue to walk. Thank you. You're free to go too. Thank you. You're dismissed. Sir, are you armed? Am I armed? Are you armed? Do you have a fire I weapon? guess that would be none of your business, yeah, but are you, are you um, armed, sir? that would be none of your business. Listen, I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions, I'm and I'm just, I have a camera. Please, please. Of all the questions a frauditor doesn't want to answer is that one right there. Are you armed, sir? Well, if you say I don't answer questions, that's the wrong answer, sonny boy. Oh, dearie me. I have a phone, I have a camera. Please leave, sir. I don't answer questions. Thanks. Sheriff, huh? Interesting. This is what happens when you're an uneducated, unemployed, babbling buffoon of a bird brain. You have nothing else to do, especially in the middle of the night. Should you be home with your family? Ah, I just don't get it. Right here, sir. Right here. And uh, this is a publicly accessible sir, way. Walk that way, sir. I can walk on walk through that all way, the. Please. Are you we're blocking the publicly we're accessible with way? With an emergency right now, it's situation. What's the please emergency? Walk that, way. walk that way. please. And even if it is an emergency, do you realize that's not a reason to violate people's rights? Sir, I'm asking. People saw their rights still stand, turn whether there's an emergency please. or not. Turn that way and go, sir. Sir, please move out of the way. This is a publicly accessible if area. Secure our scene, sir, I'm asking you to please go that way. And what have I done? How am I been threatening? I have a camera. Wrong, I have a sir, camera. Sir. Is this threatening to you? No, a camera? It's not, sir. It's not. Okay. Then what's the problem? Six ball, five one. What is the problem? Please tell me. Advise when you're secure there, so we can let this gentleman go. This is a publicly accessible area. I'm gonna walk on through. Oh my goodness, another frauditor trying to predict the future. Well, we all know what happens when that crystal ball comes out. The predictions never come true. Perhaps it will today. Let's find out. Not, not, Thank you. We're, listen, we're dealing with the situation. Here, I'm sir. walking by. We're, we're dealing with the situation. Sir. And as soon as we secure the scene, then you can walk through. Secure the scene. Yes. If there's a crime scene, you must put up tape. We, we you know some, that. We have somebody. You really want to screw with? You want to really resume I, on that? Right? No. Oh, so all right. Let's do it. We're gonna do it that way. Right That's fine. We're trying to secure somebody, sir. I've asked you. You can. You know how many thousands of people do this stuff now because of the shit you guys do? You can go that way, sir. I'm live streaming. You know how many people are watching this? That's fine, sir. You exactly. But I'm gonna go that way. And you're not gonna stop me. This is a publicly can. accessible way. You're not going right to stop me. So we're securing somebody right Am now. Am I threatening to you at all? No, absolutely not. Sir. Okay, so then what's the problem? As soon as we're securing our prisoner, then you can go, sir, okay? Until then, you cannot go over there, sir. You have not set up crime scene tape. That is required if you want to corn off a place sir, an area there's half my you know that it doesn't matter i'm here to record you dumbass you know that sounds like our frauditor friend here has been watching jailbird joey he's got a pretty smart mouth don't you think yeah now he's starting to put a little bit of profanity in there i don't know frauditor yeah, you know what? You can forget about that crime scene tape. They don't need crime scene tape. It's the middle of the night, man. Who's out there besides you? Because of the stupid shit you guys do and get away with it. That's the problem. Don't you understand that? You guys are freaking horrible. And the people are sick of it. 
There's a there's a movement, man. There's a rising. There's enough people that are freaking sick of it, dude. We're done with it. No, you can't tell me to leave. I'm in a publicly accessible area. And you know that. If you don't, that's a problem. Copy. Have a good night, sir. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. Did, did, you, did you get some education? They, they told you in your, in your ear to let me go by? They did, didn't they? Please. I'm not here to be a pain in the ass, but you guys do this stuff, and it's not okay. Have a good night. Too much stuff, not Have a okay. Good night, sir. Thanks, you too. And I really do hope you guys are safe. Stay safe and do the right thing. So at this point, the officer is telling Sonny Boy to go ahead. He can walk through and have a good night. But Sonny Boy doesn't do that. He wants to stick around and talk stuff. Oh my goodness, no. That's what good I want night. you guys to do. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to finish. Just film my vehicle. Okay, sir. I don't want to hit you with my I'm car. I'm a grown ass man, dude. If you can just I can up, completely my take car. care of myself. You Thank you. I am a grown ass man. Thank you. I do not need your instruction. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, though. Yeah, you hate people like me because I stand for what's right and I stand for our rights. Freaking guys, man. What's your name and badge number? See name that? and badge number. Corporal Williams. Badge number? 132. Thank you. Name and badge number, please. Sergeant Safian, ID number 5215. Thank you. Name and badge number? Officer Strahal, 5817. Go ahead and head back over to the PD. Now, good people, you heard this little boy. He said he's a grown-ass man. So why doesn't he just leave? He's ahead. He should just go. No, he's going to stay. You know, since we are in public, I'd like to ask, what did this poor guy do to get uh, put in torture cuffs in the back of the car? Sir, you're free to go, sir. That way I know I'm free to go. I'm free to stay also. You're not involved in so, this investigation, sir. Just please leave. Exactly. But I'm free to stay. So what did this guy do to be put in torture cuffs? How you doing? Can we call you? Hi. Yeah, What's your name and badge number? Don't worry about it. Was that, sir? Uh, you must identify, please. What's your name and badge number? It's Officer Friedenberger. Sir. He's a little please? busy, sir. Name and badge number, it's please. A little busy, Officer Friedenberger. Name sir. and badge number, so please. Yes, that is your policy. You must identify. What is your name and badge number? I'm not going to have you walk behind me. Go walk over there. What is your name and badge number? Am I threatening with a camera? I have a camera. Well, sir, I, have to do I have a phone, a camera. Yeah, What's I your name and badge sir. number? Don't worry about Real it. Real quick, done. Don't worry about What's it. What's your name and badge number? Don't worry about it. Don't oh. worry about it. I need to be able to... This is the guy we arrested for a gun last time. <laughs> you arrested for a gun. Sir, please leave. What's your name and badge number, ma'am? Sir, please leave. I don't have to leave. Please leave, You sir. understand that. Please. I had to take that last part out because he's screaming, Oh, help, help. Oh, you can't touch me. Yeah, whatever, man. That's what happens when you have a really smart mouth and a smart attitude. Man, they just don't go together, do they? And, uh, well, maybe he learned his lesson, but maybe he didn't. Most likely not. We'll see him again soon. Well, at any rate, though, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Sonny Boy. Give up this fraudity game and get a real job. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English and uh, I have a over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come trying to make me. 
you're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Really, no reason I'm really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform. I pay for that car. I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Really? No reason I'm really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, you to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me.